Hi guys, welcome back to another flow. Today's flow is gonna be a quicker paced, power, sweaty, mood boosting, ladder style yoga practice. So when you're ready, meet me in a child's pose. I'm excited to get started with you today. Big toes together, knees wide, slide those arms out long, melt the forehead down, close off the eyes, and allow yourself breath by breath to arrive in this moment in your body within the four corners of your mat. First, not really changing too much of the breath. Just recognizing how it feels in the body, how the inhales feel, how the exhales feel. Is your breath slow? Is it fast? Is it deep? Is it shallow? Maybe breathing more into the chest. No judgment, just recognizing where your breath's at and letting that cue you in into how you may be doing today and what you may need out of this practice and out of your day and how you can honor however you need to show up today. From here, deepening the breath, inhaling through the nose. Nice, big, releasing exhale out the mouth. We'll go for four more just like so. Inhale, filling up. Exhale out the mouth, let it go. Honoring your own breath, timing, and pace. It's totally fine if it's a little bit different than mine. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, release. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here to get us moving. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, let it go. Finding some movement, starting with the spine, the hips, the core, grounding down through all 10 finger pads, all 10 knuckle pads. On your next inhale, we're going to round out the spine, bone by bone, arriving into your tabletop, keeping the big toes together, knees wide. Exhale, arch the spine, sink it back in the hips. Inhale, round out. Exhale, nice big arch it back. Three more just like so. You can open your eyes or keep them closed at this point. Inhale, arch. Uh, inhale, round rather. Exhale, arch it back. Two more. Inhale, round. Exhale, arch it back. One more here. Inhale, round out. Exhale, we arch it back. Next, inhale, shooting forward up to our tabletop, stacking the wrists underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes, knees underneath the hips. A few structured cat cows. Inhale here, chest lifts, we arch the spine, tailbone reaches high. Exhale, press up to the shoulders, chin tucks into chest, belly button pulls into the spine, we round it out two more. Inhale, we arch. Exhale, we round. Inhale, we arch. Exhale, we round it out. Coming back into a neutral spine, tuck the toes, we fly it back, downward facing dog. Taking a few pedals here as we arrive. Maybe a little shake, nod of the head, yes, no. Maybe a little shake of the hip, side to side. Taking some organic movement here that feels really good for you. Maybe you even play with coming up onto the toes and then dropping heels back down. Take a few breaths. Settle in, find some movement in your down dog. 
And for the sake of timing today, we are gonna get started pretty darn quickly. So if you need a little extra moment to ground, to warm up, please absolutely pause the video, take what you need and meet us back when you are ready to fire up your main sequence. So from here, we're gonna inhale, sweep the right leg high, Exhale, bend the knee, open up through the hip, right heel pulling in towards the right glute. Taking a few hip circles here, a few moving one way, and a few moving back the other way. From here, we re-extend, square the hips, point the toe, drop the right toes down, swap it out, left side, inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, bend the knee, open up through the hip, take a few hip circles here, move in one way, moving back the other way. Re-extend the leg, square the hips, point the left toe and drop the toes down, down dog. For today's practice, we have five sequences, five rounds essentially. We are gonna land in ladder style flow. So each flow is going to build upon itself. And our last two of the five rounds we're gonna dive into today is gonna be our main sequence. So our sun salutation A's and our main sequence kind of building all up into, into our main flow for today. All right, guys, let's do it. So inhaling, shifting the gaze towards the front of the mat, exhale, bend the knee, step, jump, hop, up to those fingertips at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, arms rise all the way up through standing. Exhale, hands through heart center. <sighs> Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands through heart center, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, place the palms down, step or hop back to your high plank. Inhale, we lower down, chaturanga hover, elbows graze the rib cage. Exhale, press it back, high plank. Inhale, lower all the way down to a hover, scoop it forward, up dog, high cobra, sphinx, baby cobra, whatever back bend variation feels good for you. Tuck the toes, fly it back, downward facing dog. That was round one of five for our sequence and for our flow today. So inhale, shift the gaze towards the front of the mat. Again, adding on a little bit each time. Exhale, step, jump, hop up to those fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> inhale, arms rise all the way up through standing. And exhale, hands through heart center. <sighs> inhale, arms rise. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, place the palms down, step or hop back to your high plank. Inhale, halfway lower. Exhale, press it high. Inhale, elbows drop, hello dolphin. Exhale, we hold here for a breath. Inhale, filling up, pressing out through the elbows, creating space for the head and neck. Exhale. Next inhale, we strain elbows, coming on back to your high plank, moving through your vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, tuck the toes, fly it back. Downward facing dog, round three. Inhale, shift the gaze towards the front of the mat. Exhale, bend the knees, step, jump, hop, up to those fingertips at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, let it go, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, arms rise all the way up through standing. Exhale, hands through heart center. <sighs> Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, drop the palms down, step or hop it back to your high plank. Inhale, halfway lower. Exhale, press it high. Inhale, drop elbows down to dolphin, hips pull high. Exhale, we hold here for an extra breath. Inhale. Exhale, pressing out through the elbows. On your next inhale, either staying here for the next several cycles of breath or joining me for 10 dolphin push-ups. For one, 
and two, three, four, five, ooh, I'm sliding, six, seven, eight, almost there, awesome job, nine, and 10, beautiful. We drop back down to dolphin, shoot forward, high plank, your vinyasa, beautiful job. Inhale, upward dog. Tuck the toes, fly it back. Downward facing dog. We got two more rounds to go. And this time we're adding our main sequence to the tail end of or our sun cell aim. Let's do it. Inhale, shift the gaze towards the front of the mat. Exhale, bend the knees, step, jump, hop, boom, up to those fingertips. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up through standing. And exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands through heart center, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, place the palms down, step or hop back. High plank. Inhale, lower halfway. Exhale, press it high. Inhale, drop down to dolphin. Exhale, extra cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale, pressing up through the elbows, walking those feet in a bit to make it more challenging. From here, either holding out or 10 dolphin push-ups. If you're with me, either way, honor what you need. For one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and 10. Drop it back down to dolphin. Next inhale, right leg sweeps high. Exhale, knee to nose, arms straighten. Knee to nose, we pull it in, and then we step that right foot through. Dropping left knee towards a hover, upper body lifts, hands come through heart center. We got our crescent lunge with the back knee hovered, hands through heart center. Taking a little flow here, inhale. We are going to airplane those arms off to the side, straighten the front leg, left leg kicks high, chest parallel to the mat, warrior three airplane arms. Stepping it back, hands through heart center, catching the ball of the left foot, left knee comes down to a hover. We got four more rounds just like so. So inhale, warrior three, exhale, crescent. Inhale, warrior three, as always, honor your own time and pacing. Exhale, crescent, variation. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crescent, one more. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crescent. From here, straighten through the back leg, arms reach high, full crescent lunge, here we are. Exhale, spin the back heel flat, open those arms up, that nice gentle external rotation through the chest, the shoulders, the hips, knife edge of the left foot parallel to the back of the mat, warrior two, hello, inhale here, exhale, reverse that warrior. Two more just like that, inhale, warrior two, exhale, reverse the warrior, inhale, warrior two, Exhale, reverse. From here, rainbow the arms down, frame the foot. Step it back, high plank. Your vinyasa, upward facing dog. Tuck the toes, fly it back. Downward facing dog. Let's take a moment to take a few breaths here. And then we got that last and final left side to do before we start to cool things down. Inhale, filling up. Exhale out the mouth, let it go. Two more breaths, just like so. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, filling up. Exhale, let it go. Last time, last side. Inhale, shift the gaze towards the front of the mat. Exhale, bend the knees, step, jump, hop. Up to those fingertips at the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, arms rise all the way up through standing. 
Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands through heart center, cascade forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, place the palms down, step or hop back to your high plank. Inhale, halfway lower. Exhale, press it high. Inhale, elbows drop, dolphin pressing out through the shoulders. One extra cycle of breath here. Option to walk the feet in a little bit further for a bit more of a challenge and inversion. Either staying here for the cycles of breath or 10 final dolphin push-ups. Pinky promise for one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10. Back down to dolphin. Next inhale, sweep the left leg high. Exhale, straighten the arms, knee towards nose, crunch it in. Stepping that left foot through, right knee comes to a hover upper body lift, hands through heart center. Crescent lunge, bent knee, little variation here. Inhaling, knitting the rib cage in so we're really engaged and strong through the core and that is gonna be our anchor for this warrior three, two crescent flow. We got five rounds to do this. So in your own timing and pace, inhale, shoot forward. Warrior three, keeping that little bend through the front knee, air plate the arms by the side, chest parallel to the mat. Exhale, catch the ball, the right foot. Right knee comes to a hover, hands through heart center. Four more, inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crescent. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, crescent, two more. Inhale, warrior, three. There we go, find your balance. Whew. Exhale, crescent. Hopefully yours is a little bit better than mine today. Inhale, last time, my goodness. Warrior, three. Exhale, crescent, here we are. From here, straighten out through the back leg, arm sweep high, high crescent lunge. Exhale, spin the back heel flat, warrior two, we open. Knife edge, outer edge of the right foot parallel to the back of the mat. It can also have a slight point out to the right line of the mat, just depending on what feels best for your hips and ankle. From here, inhale, reverse that warrior. Exhale, warrior two, two more. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, lower body stays the same. Exhale. Warrior two, windmill the arms all the way down, frame the left foot, step it back, high plank. Your final vinyasa of practice, up dog, tuck the toes, fly it back, downward facing dog. Whoo, beautiful job guys, from here. We're just gonna drop it down to where we started. Child's pose, big toes together. Knees wide as we start to taper things down. Sliding the arms out long, melt the forehead down. If you are with me still, thanks for bearing with my balance today. And a little note that if you were flying around a bit and had some wiggles and wobbles that embrace that, have fun with it. Um, and let any frustration that may come with not getting a pose perfect, or feeling like you're not doing it right, or feeling like it should feel a certain way in your body that maybe it's not, let all of that go. And know that the beauty and the gift of this practice is in the showing up, is in the presence, it is in the practice of connecting movement to breath in whatever that looks like for you, and learning how to honor your body throughout it all. So coming down, just as we started, we're gonna start our cool down as we did our warm up with five deep cycles of breath. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling out the mouth, let it go. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Three more in your own timing, inhale, fill up. Exhale, release. Fill up. 
Let it go. One more inhale. Exhale. From here, slowly arriving back onto all fours. We're just gonna kickstand those feet off to the side, sink back in the hips, and slowly come all the way down to the back body for a few final stretches. Scooting up on your mat if you need to. Dropping it all the way down, knees pull into chest, a little tight squeeze as we arrive, forehead to knee, chin to chest, maybe a little rock side to side to massage out the lower back, back of the hips. And then from here, we open those arms out into a T, shifting the knee to the left, head shifts over right shoulder, closing off the eyes, if you'd like, and allowing yourself to just Come back into breath, coming back into body, and really just giving yourself a round of applause for being here, for showing up, for your movement, for your practice. So much gratitude for you being here and moving your body. Coming back through center, knee shift to right, head shifts over to left. Allowing everything to start to soften. Shoulders, hips, ankles, wrists, all those joint spaces. Coming back through center. One last hip opener, grabbing the outer edges of those feet, happy baby, because, I mean, it's not a yoga practice without a good happy baby, right? So knees pulling back in towards your shoulders, maybe some stillness, maybe a little sway side to side. A few cycles of breath here, guys. Again, awesome, awesome job for showing up, for moving, for sweating, for breathing and finding that presence in your body. Coming all the way down to Shavasana. Legs extend out long, arms by the sides. Starting from the crown of the head. Relaxing the space between the eyebrows the hinge of the jaw, softening through the collarbones, the shoulders, relaxing the elbows, the wrists, fingers, fingertips, knuckles, letting the fingers naturally curl in towards the midline of the palms, letting the hips soften, knees relax, Ankles relax, the feet all the way to the tips of the toes, relaxed, maybe a gentle external rotation of the feet as they fall off to the side. And letting your practice really just melt into you, getting really nice and heavy and being here for the next several cycles of breath. And if your mind starts to wander elsewhere, another thread of thought, a to-do list, gently bring yourself back in without judgment, back into the inhales, back into the exhales, how they feel moving through the body, every part of your body connected to the breath.
And this is where I'm going to leave you for today. So if you have the time, the space, the capacity, I gently encourage you to hang out here in Shavasana for a little longer. And I will see you in the next practice, the next workout, the next movement. I will see you very soon, friends. Namaste.